Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on metric units and it's about unit conversion by moving the decimal. Okay. <coughs> okay, so this is just sort of a picture of um, the units uh, that you have in the metric system. The metric system is based on 10. Here we have a trillion and that's the RT. We have a billion, and that's giga. A million, so the symbol for million is mega. Kilo, we know is kilo, um, K, I should say. Hecto is 100. Deca is 10. Now, the deca stands for 10, okay? And here we see deci stands for 0 0.1 or 1 over 10. So each of these um, symbols here stand for a number, okay? And because of that, we're able to move the decimal just by, because these numbers change by 10. They either divide by 10 or divide by 1,000 or are multiplied by 10 or a thousand. I'll talk about that a little more. <clears throat> so one way, one way of writing this structure here is to put it on to this scale. And based on that, we can just move the decimal if we want to. <coughs> here I can see that I've got giga is 10 to the 9, mega 10 to the 6, kilo 10 to the 3, Hecto 10 to the power of 2. Deca is just 10. Our basic unit, 10 to the power of 0, which is 1. Deci, 10 to the minus 1, which is 1 over 10. Here we have centi, which is 1 over 100. Milli, which is 1 over 1,000. And then notice here we have these two dots. So when we go from milli to micro, we're dividing by a thousand. So we're at milli, we divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10 to get to micro. And then to get to nano from micro, we're dividing by 10, dividing by 10, dividing by 10. So essentially dividing by a thousand here to get down to 10 to the minus 9. All right? Now, one of the uh, one of the things that helps with this is to have an acronym. And one of my co-workers had told me that both this acronym years ago, and I thought it was sort of silly initially, but it actually works really, really well, okay? So what he, what he told me was kind hearts don't use daring chess moves. And then based on some students I was working with, we added unless necessary. Now the kind, is a symbol for kilo. I didn't include giga and mega because very often people aren't using that, all right? Or if they, they are, they don't really need this acronym. So we're starting at kilo, kind. Hearts, symbol is a, stands for the hecto. Don't, deca. Use our basic unit. Daring, deci. Chess stands for the centi. Moves stands for milli. We have a dot dot here because from milli to micro, we divide by 10 and by 10 and by 10. So we have to count those steps to get to micro. So milli dot dot micro. And then to get from micro to nano, you're going to drop a thousand again. So divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. Okay? And that takes us down to necessary. Now, if you have a number like 12 milliliters, where is it on the scale? So 12 milliliters, we know that we're looking at the prefix of milli. So we look for milli, and here it is. So we're here on the scale when we're talking about 12 milliliters. 
65.3 micrograms. So we look, here's micro, that's where we are on this scale. 450, mil, or 450 meters, there's no prefix in front of the meters, so we're at basic unit. And if I had 13 grams with no prefix in front, I'm at the basic unit. Okay, that's where I am on this scale, so right here. Now, how do we move the decimals? So here we are, we have our scale, and it helps to, if you're wanting to use this, just, just sort of memorize it, okay? So 59.2 centimeters, centi is here, all right? So that's where we're starting. And we want to go to meters. So we put our pen in front of the centi, we know we want to go to meters, and meters has no prefix in front of it, so that's our basic unit. So we're starting at centi. We want to go to unit. So we're going to move the decimal one, two places to the left. So we write out our number. And we say, okay, I'm moving the decimal one, two places to the left. Put a big fat decimal so we don't lose it we end up with 0 0.592 meters. Okay. Now, we have 3,750 milliliters. We want to go to liters. So we're starting here at milli. We want to go to liters, which is our basic unit. So we can say that, all right, I'm starting here and I'm going one, two, three places to the left. So I write out my number. My decimal is here. I move the decimal one, two, three places to the left. So now I have 3.7 five liters and I don't write out the zero. The reason for that is we don't know if that has been measured. Okay, So we can't say that there's a zero here because that implies that we've measured to the thousands. All right? So we just drop the zero. Now we have 1.8 kilometers, excuse me, <coughs> 1.8 kilometers and we want to go to millimeters. So we find kilometers on our scale and kilo is here. We want to go to millimeters and milli is here. So then we count the spaces. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six places to the right. So we write out our 1.8. We move the decimal one, two, three, three, four, five, six. Big fat decimal so we don't lose it. Put zeros in here and rewrite. So we end up with one, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five zeros. Okay, and that's millimeters. And it's always a good idea to stop and ask yourself if that's reasonable, okay? 1.8 kilometers, that's a lot. We're going down to millimeters. So again, we start at kilo, we're going down to milli. Moving at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just making sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a reasonable answer. Because we're going to have a lot of millimeters in 1.8 kilometers. Okay. Excuse me. So now we're at milliamps and we want to go to microamps. So we look for milli. Milli's here. We want to go to micro. So we're moving the decimal one, two, three places to the right. So I'm just going to do it here. So we're moving our decimal one, two, 
three places to the right and we end up with 0 0.482 microamps. Okay. Now we have 1 trillion 720 mil, uh, billion 720 billion kilohertz big number okay and we want to go to gigahertz excuse me <coughs> we want to go to to gigahertz so we start with kilo to get to giga we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 places to the left so I know my decimal is here, and I'm going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the left, big fat decimal, and I end up with 1,720 gigahertz. And that's a reasonable answer. This is very large. Giga is big, so that number has to be small. Okay. 50,400 watts, we're changing it to megawatts. So watts is our basic unit right here. So we're starting here and we are going to mega. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. That's how we're moving the decimal, right? So I'm just going to do it. Oh no, I'll rewrite it. Okay. So, yeah, lost my place. So, watts to mega. So starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, big fat decimal, put a zero in there, we end up with 0 0.0504 megawatts. And again, this is our watts. See, it's a big number. We're turning it into megawatts. Mega is big, all right? So it's reasonable that this number would be small. Now, last one, seconds. So we have this many seconds. We want to turn it to nanoseconds. Seconds does not have a prefix, so it's our, at our basic unit. We're going to nano. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right? So we just go here and move it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine. And we end up with 603 nanoseconds. Okay? All right. So that's it. And I hope this helps. And that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. Take care.